<laughs> yeah! Stock video people are so proud of me. They heard that I had to tighten my belt on the hike and they're cheersing about it. Good to know. Oh, well, I just uh, fell to my butt. How's it going, sir? Can I get you something to drink? Sure, I'll have a nice... Uh... Here's some water. slow right now after I saw that road runner I was standing still and I feel like I, I'm starting to get a cramp I just had a cramp in my leg so I'm moving like super duper slow downhill has been rough going up I felt great even at the top starting to go down this is <laughs> kind of a tough first hike in a few months <laughs> I tend to laugh when I'm nervous you know I could hear sirens in the distance, so I turned on my radio to hear what's going on. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. The female is pounding on the door in order the night. I'll be responding code 3. 10 out 15 responding code 3. Permanent on that 1033. I'll code 4. East County units, 33 in effect for 9 and 41 on regard for subject possibly with a knife. Last unit asking if there's contact with RP. 9 and 41, confirming you still have contact with the RP. Negative. 9 and 41, correct. We have contact with the RP. We have second floor window advising East Code 4 with the door locked. We're standing by for additional units. 10 4, made contact with RP, advising Code 4 with the door locked. Standing by. There's a girl banging on the door with a knife. You can see those roads over there. It's happening right over there somewhere. 10 out of 41, 9 Charles, do you guys have a 40 on scene? No, we don't have a 40, but if uh, somebody's 10 8 with a 40, that would be good. 9 Charles, 11 9 8 with 9 George, got the 40 from his car, and I'll be in that call. I'm assuming K9 unit? 9 Charles, 11 now. Can we get, uh, try to have somebody make contact with the female? It's gonna be a <laughs> with prior contact with her, see if somebody from the desk can make uh, phone contact with her. I'm going to bleep that out. It's a girl's name. Corridor 12, 9 out of 41. Can you go to the uh, herb side and just keep an eye on the rear of the residence in case she tries to bail off the rear? Okay, they haven't gotten to her yet. Being on to the herb side. I think the RP is the person that called the police. So they contacted that person. They're upstairs. Girl banging on the door with a knife. Now they're trying to corner her in so that if she tries to run down <laughs> around back, they'll stop her. I love bringing this on hikes because you really get to hear what's going on in the city around you. 10-4. How much battery I got left? 7%. Jeez. GoPro batteries suck. I gotta switch this battery out. You need to make contact with Once we do, do you want us to transfer to your cell? Uh, affirmative. Transfer to the uh, 9 Ida 51 phone, please. 10 for information. We just attempted and there was no answer. 10-4. We just attempted again in the answer. We'll try back again. All right, GoPro about to die. I haven't changed the battery yet. Yeah, the fire unit's monitoring this channel on record. 
We have a uh, male party that's in a second story window, and we want to get him out uh, via ladder if possible. We'll be able to get one from you guys to see that come from the house. I had to pull out my phone. Hopefully the sound is okay. There's a lot of wind. Medic 34, did you? Engine 34, are we cleared to enter? Uh, Medic Engine 34, if you guys want to come on to Meadow, or, uh, correction, Ricard at Meadowbrook, we're staged up at the house. Medic Engine 34, copy. So they, they called the fire department or they were asking if they were listening so that they could bring a ladder so they could get the guy that called the, or whoever called the police. Oh, I almost just twist my ankle. All right, well, I've been sitting here for about uh, three, four minutes. I'm assuming since it's quiet, they're handling it right now. Hey, can you tell me what's going on? Don't worry, I know not to press the button. I don't have my ham license. That is something I want to get, though. Ocean 419, George 11, verbal domestic at Houston Drive. Check your machine further. Another one. Uh, another call. Another. another call. Another domestic disturbance. Ocean 419, George 11, the RP is saying the husband owns several firearms, that he has firearms on him, but then taking them off and putting them in the garage. Oh my god, that story just got so much crazier. <laughs> FYI, we have the RP out uh, through the bedroom window. The uh, female DP is in her bedroom uh, right now. We're interviewing the RP. Their roommates, oh man. The RP is out through the bedroom window and the DP is now in the bedroom. Dispatch just said that he had, the guy that called the police had a gun, a magazine, and a knife on him. Sounds like they're roommates. Okay, so dispatch just said that the guy that called the police about the girl being on the door with a knife has more guns that are not that are not registered in this gun safe and they have their serial numbers shaved off. The plot thickens. Sounds like the roommate situation at that house is no bueno. Unlikely we'd ever find out what this is about. That'll happen in the trial. So there's that. Put them in the gun safe. Now in the garage. They better get a warrant to open that gun safe. I sure hope they get a warrant for that gun safe. And I hope you enjoyed watching this hike. It took a lot of editing hours to put this together. So if you don't mind, if you could share this out on your socials, or if you can like this video, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below. I appreciate you so much. Especially if you're still here and you're seeing this. Thank you for hanging with Zane.